I'm doing some reviews. I've got um, Smith's chips. Got all the different flavors and I got Big M milk. So um, me and my guests are gonna find out what are the best um, matchups for those. Like if you're trying to choose what sort of dinner you wanna have, uh, what Smith's, Smith's Chris should go with which Big M's. If you got a Big M at home, crack it open. Yeah. Sip along with us. Um, get some chips from the pantry, have a little nibble. Let's, uh, let's see, I've got here some Smith's crisps, like a bunch of different flavours in my backpack from the good people at Smith's. No, they didn't help out at all. Um, but if you're out there, Smith's, I do accept sponsorships. Um, what do you reckon? We'll get cheese and onion. What do you think goes well with, um, just give that a try. Mmm, as soon as you open the pack, it's like, it's like I've just been travelled to um, a farm, a fresh, a fresh farm. And what one, mate? Yeah, I have one of these. Last time I had a cheese and onion chips, I was 14. I ate an entire packet in front of an episode of Murder She Wrote. So, all right, mate. No need to brag. But um, what are you what are you tasting there? I'm I'm sort of getting, I'm sort of getting um, mature cheese, maybe like a cheddar. More tasty, I don't know. And uh, I'm, I'm not a, I'm I not as big an onion enthusiast as Tony Abbott. He he liked his onion, but I do. I'm sensing like a brown onion or a white onion. Yeah. Well done there, Smith. It actually says it's 75 percent less saturated fat, so it's good to know I'm having a healthy item here. Um. Yeah. I can actually feel myself getting healthier as I as I eat the chips. So. And what flavour do you think Big M I should um... Well I think cheese normally goes with wine. So maybe like a, a strawberry because that's the closest strawberry, to yeah. fruit. That's right. So we'll get the strawberry open. It says shake me to open. So I'll do that. You don't want to sort of... Good for your wrists as well. The important part of, um, of being a beverage servant is, is knowing the preparation of the beverage. So. Oh, that's a good drop. Love my strawberry. Um, it's a good, good morning drink. Sort of uh, get you started, get your day going. You know, give a bit of a, put a bit of a bounce in your step. Just have another one, please. So I've gotten through the cheese and onion Smiths and strawberry Big M. So I'm ready to move on to my next big challenge, big review, which is. I'll go Smith's Chicken, family favourite. Well, sometimes single people eat it too, I don't know. Um, mm, it's like, you open it up, it's like walking into a um, chicken coop, you know? So, I don't know. But, um, and some of the ones I have to think about, what goes with what, but <laughs> this one's a no-brainer. Egg flip, big M, right? Chicken, egg, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a pretty close um, family. Mm, that's a nice drop. Really captures the taste of egg inside of a milk. <laughs> I was like, I wonder how that came about. Do you reckon someone just, I reckon it was, because the groceries, you know what I'm talking about. When you're taking home the groceries, you're always worried about the eggs, right? So I reckon the egg split got into the milk and someone was like, we've got it, egg milk, so. Yeah, but how did, how did it get into, was it the milk cracked as well? This was, um, this predated lids. So, so you just, the milk, mil the milk sloshing around. Yeah, you just had a bucket of milk. Just a bucket. I'm, I'm gonna bring out, uh, what I like to think is two Aussie classics. I've got uh, the barbecue flavored chips. Miss Chris, open that up. Mmm, smell that aroma. Uh, as soon as you open that up, what do you think of? I think of um, mates hanging around the barbie, and uh, and the of course the gals are cooking, preparing the salads and yeah, in the kitchen. Good, you know, it's a good time for them to have a chat. I mean, the, the the fun police like to say that um, you can't say the girls are in the kitchen, but what other room are they going to be in? Well, I can think of one, but uh, no, nah, I'm just like, that doesn't make sense. But, um, Have a yeah. barbecue chip. 
Who was, whose bit was it about how barbecue ch the chips taste like if you cooked a barbecue? I don't know, mate. I don't watch comedy, but um, what do you reckon will go with that? I, I'm down to because they didn't have banana. I got every. I went to the shop. I got every big M, but they didn't have banana. I mean, um, I guess there's a banana shortage. Yeah. At the moment, but what, what should I go? Iced coffee or chocolate? I can chocolate with barbecue. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Because it's like you think like um, you know, at the barbie, having a something um. You know, you might you might be at the barber, you have a beer to wash down the, the snag, so yeah. chocolate's a bit like beer, sweet. Yeah, maybe if you're having like a chocolatey chocolatey stout. Yeah, that's it. Maybe um maybe a sort of like a I don't know, I don't have beer either, but um Yeah. Which that's quite been, nice actually. Which one's been the best big M? Because we've talked about the ships. Um big M. I like I think strawberry's in the lead so far. Yeah. Strawberry is um, it's sweet. It's a bit of a bit of a nectar, <laughs> a bit of an apricotish <laughs> nectar. Hey, Nick Cap is here. You want to come in? Is yeah. that all right? Nick Cabba, Australia's Australia's second favourite Cappa. Yeah. After uh, Steve, the ping pong captain. So we're into our last one, uh, salt and vinegar, last smith. Ooh. Get a whiff of that. That's, doesn't that bring back your childhood? Oh, Can you smell that? You know, you know what that reminds me of? The swimming pool. Yeah. I used to always get... And, um, and did you ever make sangers, like uh, uh, salt and vinegar chip sangers? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's actually a... Um, people, always, people like to get the chips and sort of put them in the sandwich. And I think you've got to do it yourself because... There was a place up in, uh, like a chicken place up in Queensland, they've closed down since, called Brodie's, and they used to have a, a pre-made like chip burger, and I think it's all about DIY. I, I think yeah. chip sandwiches to me are the punk rock DIY, you know, indie sandwich. I, I remember I went to this really uh, expensive restaurant in, uh, in Manly, and they just, they didn't, they had fish and chips, but it wasn't cooked chips, it was like crisp chips. Yeah. And I was very disappointed. Oh, yeah. I was like, because I paid like, I don't know, 18 bucks for it. That's Guys, true. I'm not here to bag out cuisine. I'm, mm. you know, I'm open to all, my palate is open to all taste of the, the Australian cuisine industry. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say salt and vinegar is my least favourite of the ones I've had so far. What do you? Yeah, not as strong as they used to be. No, nah, because I'm, I'm all about the chook, the chook, love the cheese and onion. The Barbie. Original is what it is. You know what you're getting. Mm. Well, one thing I like with the original is uh, it's a good accompaniment to... Is that a word? It will yeah, be. Yeah. I can't, I can't, it's a good companion. We'll use companion. Yeah. Good companion to your dip. Mm. And, I'll, you know, and um, if you want to be exotic, you can have a bit of French onion. Mm -hmm. French onion dip or... Um, it will spin the globe around, see where it lands. Mexico, if you want a bit of... Old El Paso salsa. Throw that on there. Mexico onion dip. Oh yeah. I think I'm, it's a big call, but I think it's point the point of the show where I'm gonna have to rank them. So we'll start number one. We'll go cheese Chicken's and onion. still good, isn't it? It's still good yeah. chicken, it's held Actually, up. Actually you were, um, this was discussed before you arrived, you might be able to help, but do you know why um, green was selected as the chicken, international chicken color? No. You can hold that if you want. Oh, actually, no, we're ranking them, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we're ranking. Well, do you, um, we know Angus would probably have these two at the end for his uh, political views. Yeah. <laughs> nah. What's your political views? I would say uh, no barbecues. Get them out. Warm colours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon? Send in your votes, guys. Ooh. Yeah. We've got our first caller here. Uh, yep. Yep. You agree? Yeah. So that was uh, Steve Fakington of uh, Fakeville. I'm making that up. He's, uh, he actually lives in Fake Town. And, uh, <laughs> but he agrees. He says, rip a choice. Would you say that, Kevin? Yeah, I, I, I reckon so. I'd probably nearly put chicken up the front there. But hey, who am I? Who All right. am I too? So what do you reckon? Move him along? I reckon chicken's number one. It's held up through the years. It's in, um, you know what you're getting, don't you? Mm. Okay. Yeah. 
What's your reasoning for this, Goxie? Um, well, I didn't have chicken there, but you forced me into it. Um, and I'm easily <laughs> led. Um, <laughs> but I'd have, I like cheese and onion. I like the, uh, okay, I like the like power, yep, yep. the powerful, mature taste. And, uh, and barbecue is an old favorite. All right, now let's do the big emphasis. We're just running out of time. Um, I reckon I like strawberry. Um, can't go past chocolate. Yeah. You know what you're getting. Egg there, and then coffee at the end. Um, what do you reckon? We, yeah. I, I reckon egg flip at the end. The main thing about this. I didn't this, like the egg flip, mate. Wasn't, the main no, thing overall, yeah. guys, it's about getting out there, believing in yourself, being the best you can. Hey everybody, if you want to watch more, just click on the links below. It's, they're pretty good. They're all pretty good. I mean, watch, watch my thing, mostly. Watch my thing again. The view, I need the views.